recording. Um, whenever we want to start, just let us know. Um, when you're ready. You hit the red record circle, and then it should start doing stuff. You should also probably make sure that it's recording the microphone you want it to record. Yeah, that's not good. Because we don't want that. We want to show off. Right? What? Oh, okay. No, that's fine. We'll make it work. Um, normally, we just start these kind of in the middle of a sentence. And then Jordan gets really mad because he thinks that we should have more structure. He's staring at me. Just looking at it. Um, everything. <laughs> We're on Google Podcasts, Spotify. We don't put it on YouTube. Um, I tried to put it on Apple, iTunes, whatever the fuck they're calling it now. Apple. Motherfucking Apple. They suck. I had to download iTunes for my computer. Piece of shit. I tried to sign in. Wouldn't let me. Made an account. Wouldn't let me verify my account. I had to go through like eight steps. What? What are you doing? Am I supposed to hear you through this? Yeah, it doesn't. Why would you even want to use iTunes anyway? Because I want to use Apple Podcasts. Do people even use iTunes yeah. anymore? Stupid people. Do, do iPods exist? Yes, they do. Still? Not really. Okay. Um, it's just your phone at this point, right? Basically. I turned myself up a little bit. Can you hear me a little bit better? No. Okay. I, as long as it records, I don't really care. Yeah. I'll probably just talk louder because I can't hear anything right now, which is probably yeah. a good thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep my voice from going into yours and yours into mine as much as possible, so I have our gain oh, really gotcha. low. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's why our, our headphones are up. So no, high. I can hear you fine. All right, I guess we should get started. This is um, James and Jordan talking to the internet, episode... Um, 18? Nope. That was the one before the last one. S uh, 20? Yes. Episode 20. 20. We've been doing this for 20 episodes. Nobody's taken us down yet. At one point, we took a little break. We've been doing these bi-weekly. So it's been about a year. Um, we've got three people. My name's James. And I'm Jordan. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing at my computer. That's Natalie. Um... Natalie, who the fuck are you? Yeah. All right, that's the end She's of the podcast, Ray from everybody. The Force Awakens. Um, no, we've known each other for a really long time, longer than I've known Jordan. Um, and that's not because it's a big number. You can't count that high. It's because you're, you're what twenty one. We're dumb. <laughs> 22. Yeah, she's older than me. She likes to remember things. She was born in December. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you were born February 18th? Yeah. Okay, well, we don't have to give out my personal information, but... I just was surprised I remembered it. Um, what do you want to talk about? Uh, zero, Social zero, zero. Right now. Give it to me. Um, give it to me now. It to we me can't now. do that again. We're not getting that in into that again. Um, I wanted to talk to you specifically, Natalie about extra life um <clears throat> the community one happened last weekend and the real rooster teeth one is happening saturday uh that we're i'm putting this out on monday so it happened in the past um how did we we were friends when did we start being friends no 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 um, we started being friends in, we didn't really know each other in elementary school, did we? Yeah, so we, we knew each other. Yeah, because you were there for one year. Right? And so you guys are friends, right? Yeah, like, we know each other. know each other? We know okay. each other. Wow was a long time ago and i was drunk for most of it um when you were in fifth grade <laughs> yeah i was shit-faced wow um archer 
Yeah. <laughs> Why was he dressed like Hitler? Um, we really started being friends in seventh grade because we we rode the bus together, and then we had to walk home together. Some other people who will not be named. We're not gonna put names. <laughs> yeah, we don't know anybody else. Um, I have to bleep that shit. Uh, and then Extra Life happened. Uh, it was a long ass. You guys time are ago. really bad at dates and. Yeah. Counting and We're stuff not like smart. that. Um, I didn't go to college. So Did I just hear it was a really long time ago? It was like twenty eighteen. Did no, I just hear that? No, it was like twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen. And that's a really long time ago. It was six or seven years ago. And we were Yeah. I feel like we were doing this shit three months ago. I don't um, even know what you're talking about. So extra life is a it's yeah, a year round this. thing. Okay. That this organization does. And you raise money for your local children's hospitals. You can donate anytime you want. But uh, five, six or seven years ago, Rooster Teeth, mainly Jack Patillo and his wife Katie, they started doing a 24 hour live stream to raise as much money as they could in that 24 hours to go towards the Dell Children's Hospital in Austin, Texas. And one year, um, like two or three years in, I think, they couldn't make that weekend for some reason. COVID? That they had always done it. It wasn't COVID. Oh, okay. Um, so they reached out to the community and they said, hey, we're going to you know, talk to all the community managers out there. And if you're in a community group and you want to do something, let us know. We'll, you know, you'll have an hour segment, and you'll be able to, you know, do whatever you want in a game with a bunch of people from the community. Um, and I don't remember how we got involved. Do you remember, Natalie? That that rings a bell. So I was part of the. Rooster Teeth main group, the state of Maine, not M A I N. Um, and I reached out to the people in charge of that, and I said, "Hey, my friends and I." I just lumped you guys in. Um, I didn't give a shit whether or not you wanted to do it. We can build a Minecraft thing for this event. Um, our thinking was. Uh, that one, we didn't have real computers, so Minecraft was the only game we could play. And two, that was probably the case for a lot of people. And Minecraft isn't a very hard game to play. And most people had it. Yeah, it literally was the only game we played. <laughs> I've never played it. It's really fun. <laughs> Especially when you do what we did. Um, I can't log in because Microsoft can suck my dick. Um... So I reached out to them, and they're like, okay, sure. And we started building a Capture the Flag style map. Right, and we got Travis, who was on an episode of this podcast when you were dead, and I needed to... You were... I'm not talking about you. I was pointing at Jordan. I also have a full-time job. I do, too. You guys are, like... I don't just sit here. I have, I've never I have seen a you at work. Job. I worked with you for many years. Well, we can't stop is giving that away a my is that even a real job? Stuff. God damn it! Yes, it's a real job. I get paid for it. You don't know my address. I've moved. I know what it is. Shit. Um. But you got like four different. <laughs> entrances to yeah choose from. <laughs> you got a 25 percent chance of getting yeah. me um so anyway what were we talking about we we're talking about how we he doesn't lock his door shut either. up i walked right i walked right i in. unlocked it so you could kramer me okay um anyway back to extra like community stream we reached out we said we'll build we want to build the thing for this and they said sure you can do that 
at that point we didn't know if we were going to actually be in the live stream because we didn't know how many people wanted to be in yeah yeah somebody took jack i think jack patillo from rooster teeth took a photo of something and our shit is in the background um so we were definitely there we built this huge thing travis got involved a bunch of people helped it was awesome we made it on we were playing this thing we raised a couple thousand dollars i think for the main whatever children's hospital we got here whatever it was probably bush barbara bush children's hospital um so that was really really fun and then we tried to do it another year but we didn't make it onto the stream the official stream but we still did it and that was more fun i think because we had even more control that time um and then we tried to do it again but it didn't work out so then we just didn't we stopped doing it um so that's our story with extra life and why i wanted to bring natalie on here because extra life is going on right now and we were involved we were there at the beginning and we're awesome we did funhouse versus achievement hunter and it was a capture the flag map um that was fun we had a good time jordan you're i have no idea what you guys are talking about I um honestly that was like eight servers ago because we always do a thing where we're like we're gonna start a server and then we start a server and we dick around with it for three months and then we say fuck it we're not doing a server anymore and we do that every year or so so that shit's gone I don't think so. Um, and then I also I have uh, I've been trying every year to buy the poster and the shirt and stuff. One year, it was the um, the hotel themed year. That's the one I have framed in my kitchen. Jordan, I bought that robe. It's like it was like a hundred dollar robe, and there were only like a hundred of them made, and I got a signed thing from. Katie, Jack, and Chad. And I have it framed. And I keep it in my living room. No, yes. I have the card that they signed. I have the robe in my bathroom. It's framed. It's framed in the bathroom. It is framed in the bathroom. I always said that if I was ever ridiculously rich, like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos rich, I was going to buy the Mona Lisa and I was going to hang it in my bathroom. I don't think you can do that. Fuck I, it. Watch you, me. You can't. Watch me. Uh, no. I'm literally so rich it, I can do whatever no, I want. No, it, it, no, not even for that because that's just priceless. If I had a, a bunch and of money like that, And it can continue like to I be priceless have. in my bathroom while I take a dump at 4 o'clock in the morning and stare at it. They would, you would never be sold that. Watch me. I don't think you're ever going to be as rich as Jeff Bezos. It could happen. So this podcast like... could really take off. First podcast listened to on Mars. On Mars? No. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about how, what was I going to talk about? Oh, we can talk about the dreams I've been having lately. Sure. I like dreams. I'll, an I'll uh, analyze them for you. Um, so I sent you a text message yeah, that, the other day. that sounded like a crazy person. Can you read that? I don't think it's, um. No, I saved it. Don't worry. You saved it? Yeah. You can tap a message in Snapchat, and it'll just stay there forever. Um, this is great. Um, no, it didn't. Michael Myers times three, Travis Sack, Lindsay, stolen car, camp, play dead, Alexandria, Dadarios butt. <laughs> so, we're probably going to have to bleep at least one of his names. Um, but I was having a dream where I was at a camp. And I was a witness to Michael Myers, but there were three of them, and they were on trial for being Michael Myers. So, I don't know why we were all there, but then they escaped, presumably because they're Michael Myers. 
and they started killing people. Wait, it was like a camp that had a court? It was like a campground. There was a court. Okay. We don't need to dissect okay, it. Okay, sure. And then there, the building was, like, falling down at one point. And I was sort of in... Yeah, what building? What are you talking about? Uh, the camp slash court. Okay. The court was in the camp. These are the same building. So then that fell down, and he was – one of them was killing somebody, and I just sort of la lay there, and I was playing dead, and then he left me alone. So then we all hauled ass to a camper, like a Winnebago, and we all got in it, and we were driving away, but there wasn't very much room. So I was kind of smushed in the back in a, at an awkward angle, and Alexandria Daddario was there who was in the Percy Jackson movies <laughs> and probably some other stuff. Um, I don't know what it means, but in my dream, um, when I was smushed up in the back, she was in front of me and I got to touch her butt. Was that the full dream? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I woke up and I had to go to work. All right, let me – okay, so you're at a campground. Mm-hmm. There's a courthouse. Yep. There's three Michael Myers from yep. Halloween. Mm -hmm. They're all on trial. Yep. They all escape. Uh -huh. They come after you. Mm -hmm. You get into a Winnebago. Yep. And you're smushed in the back. Mm -hmm. And you're driving mm -hmm. with some actor from a Percy Jackson movie. Yep. And then the dream ends. Yeah. No idea. I can usually pick apart dreams yeah. and be like, oh, this is this and that. But no. That I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, that doesn't make sense. What was the one I sent you before that that also didn't make any sense? Probably all of them. <laughs> Your dreams don't make any sense. Read the other one. I, want, I can't remember what it was. You didn't. You never sent me another. No, one. I sent you another one. You just didn't respond because you hate me. I probably read it and was super confused and just didn't even want to have to deal with um, asking you what you were talking about. But then the second one was so atrocious that you couldn't prevent it. Oh, Xenomorph Pasta? Oh, yeah. So If I, I just get texted that, I'm not going to respond to it. <laughs> I had like, a dream where, where the aliens from Alien were, we were real. Oh. But they made really good pasta, so nobody wanted to kill them. So, like, they were just running restaurants? No, it was just, like, they shit out really good pasta. And people really liked it, so they wouldn't kill the Xenomorph. Okay, see. You guys are asking. No, no, no. This dream makes more questions. sense to me than the other one. Well, yeah. So I think what it is is like you were viewing. So the xenomorph mm -hmm. are the people of the world who they're not really good people. Yeah. But what they're creating and uh -huh. doing yep. is so good that people are willing to overlook their flaws and their their negative actions i'm not a psychologist i don't think that's it i, I think i just that's had a what dream i'm that's what i'm getting from it where xenomorph shit out really good pasta and then people wouldn't kill them because they wanted the pasta i had a nightmare the other night <laughs> okay i was driving a car mm -hmm. and then i realized this is not my car okay and i realized that since this isn't my car like I'm not using car keys, so it shouldn't be driving. And right? the car just shut down in a big snowstorm. Oh. And then I woke up the next day, and I was like, that's a dream. It's fine. In the dream. Uh-huh. And I went outside in my car, my actual car. Mm -hmm. the, the first part, I don't know what that was about. But I went outside, and my car was uh, in a parking space. It wasn't my house, but it was my house in the dream. Yep, I sure. don't know where I was. It doesn't I, matter. I, yeah. Anyway. And, like, it had no tires on it. Was it on bricks? No, like, literally, no, it was not on bricks. Was it, it had, just floating? No. It was, like, the whole bottom part of the car was gone. Okay. And it was all, be like, beat to shit and all this stuff. And then in the dream, I was like, oh, my God, I must have blacked out last night and driven my car and crashed it. Okay. And then I was like, what am I going to do? And then that was pretty much it. And then he woke up? Yeah. So, so an analyze that dream. Um, yours, your dreams seem to be a little bit more 
real <laughs> than mine? Basically, yeah, I got blackout drunk and totaled my car and had no no memory of it. It was what the dream was about. Um, yeah. I mean, that's better than Xenomorph shitting out pasta that everybody likes, I guess. It was a, it was the amount of anxiety I felt in that dream was awful. I can imagine. Can you imagine just waking up and your car's just totaled sitting out yeah. in the parking lot? Yeah. I mean, I would be pretty flustered, I think. Um another thing that we should probably talk about is main gaming. Main gaming? Main gaming. Is that your um YouTube channel yeah. from when you sounded like a chipmunk? Yeah. Welcome to main gaming. It's still up. Yeah, I tried. I, I, I think I found it one night. Used to take it down. Um, I think we have uh thirteen or fourteen subscribers. That is not us. Um, there are multiple main gamings. Twenty subscribers. Yes. And they are all your friends? And your, um, your I don't know who they are. I don't think we've uploaded a video in like six years. One day I'm just going to start uploading. Yeah, that was when we were going to start our own server. And we had our thing. Like we were trying to copy Achievement Hunter. So they had Achievement City and we wanted to do Daveville. <laughs> Why are you just trying to copy someone? Because we're fucking idiots. Just make your own thing. We're fucking idiots. Yeah. Tech it? What is that? It's a modded Minecraft thing. Should I play Minecraft? Is that... Yeah. That server is awesome. Too bad it sucks now. Basically, we couldn't play real games, so we just find servers on Minecraft that pretended to be those games, and then we play that. I was also yeah. forbidden to play GTA, <laughs> and then I also couldn't play GTA. I physically could not run the game on my computer. Um, Your parents didn't let you play a game where you can pick up prostitutes and no, then murder them and get your money back. No, shockingly, they didn't. They were not wow. into that. Oh, that's weird. That's... Um, actually, I. Oh, no, you can do a lot of messed up stuff in that game. Oh, don't Actually, worry, like, we did not listen to that rule of not no. being allowed to play GTA 5 and very much play GTA 5 when we had computers, and I have some photos to show you. <laughs> oh, boy. Did we have fun. I was at a Christmas party one time, and I went in the back room, and like there were just these like two little kids playing Grand Theft Auto, and <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> you know you can, like, murder prostitutes in that game and uh well, yeah if you want to get your money back yeah except they never give you back what you paid did they i don't no, know they only give you like 20 bucks when you give them 100 i think i've only picked up maybe like 10 hookers playing that game oh i pick up 10 hookers in a night i like the one that's like um the minute i saw you i knew we'd be good together did you ever pick up that prostitute no oh, uh, we had a spot though didn't... there was another one that'd be like oh yeah honey <laughs> We that had um, we used to run experiments with them. Like we see would see how far away you can drive. Yeah, like we would just drive until it was daytime and see what would happen. <laughs> I think at one point Natalie, <laughs> he was your it was still your e girl. <laughs> um, if you go to the strip club and you touch them enough, you can get their number and then you can call them to your apartment whenever you want. We had fun with no. that. Usually, oh, I thought you got kicked out. No, only if you get caught. No. Oh. You were there. <laughs> you were there. Because I think at that time, women couldn't have prostitutes. Women couldn't have... What if you, you If you played a female character in the game, you couldn't get a when prostitute. Would you, when was there ever a female character in the game that you could play? Yeah, but as a woman character, you could not get prostitutes for a while, right? Yeah, but when, would, when could you ever be a woman character in... GTA. When you made your fucking character in GTA Online, you could become a woman or a man. No. Well, there could be uh, male prostitutes. There aren't. 
Did you look? Yes. We we look. I think we, we tried it's, to it's, break and the it's, system. And it's it's Rockstar, correct? Yeah. So I think we should write to them. And they fixed it. You can as a female so there are male character, prostitutes no, now. No, aren't. But as a okay. female character, you can get prostitutes female prostitutes. Now. Mm-hmm. Well, that's still that's not good enough. There needs to be male prostitutes. I agree. There should game. be more representation. Yes. There should be. Yeah. Um. At one point, put a couple gay bars in there. We tried to see what would happen if I was driving the car. The prostitute got in, and then Natalie got in the back. The prostitute would just run out every single time. So the trick was to try and get it. So that the car was still moving when I when you hit the button to get in the car. So then the prostitute didn't have time to get out, and then they just pop out anyway. You know what's weird about Grand Theft Auto, and I, like that's one of my most favorite, of what I just said. Favorite, yes, exactly. But like that, people do crap like that. Just like, try to that break you it. You just told me no. Just like th- like I used to play that game, and I would get a prostitute, and I bring her to the shady part of town, and I would just murder her. Yeah. And then I would like I I would just think about I was like. Why would I want to do that? Like, I would never want to do that in real life. But why am I doing that in this game? Like, I'm just running around shooting people in the street, and I'm like, I have no desire to kill people in real life. But why is this so like? Well, let's not say no desire. You have very little desire. I was thinking about killing somebody the other day. Yeah. But not seriously. Yeah. Of you know course. what I mean? You yeah. had the knife in your hand, and yeah, you and stabbed them once, and then you thought it, about no, it. No, they and... turned around quickly, and I took put the knife behind my back. Yeah. You did what they did in movies. and In movies, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When it's like, how did you not see the knife? Yeah. How did you not? Like, this show I'm watching, same thing happened. This kid's charging towards this other kid with a knife, mm-hmm. and he whips around real quick, and he, like, puts a knife behind him. And, like, he was the other guy who was going to stab. Like, he wasn't even, like, um, why is your hand behind your back? Why were you just running after me? Like, there was hey. none of that. Yeah. Th- that's what I would ask. I'd be like, well, what's <laughs> behind your back? Is it a butcher knife? Was it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. Glad we solved that paradox. There's a video I might still have on my phone when they introduced nightclubs into GTA five online where I was wearing a horse mask. And if you I forget how you get thrown out of a nightclub, but I did it and the video is just me in a horse mask getting thrown out of a nightclub. It's about seven seconds long. I think I laughed for an hour and a half. I just kept watching it. It was fucking hilarious. Is this on your YouTube channel? No, but I think it's still on my phone. I might have deleted it. I hope I didn't. It was really funny. So anyway, main gaming. Main gaming. Um, GTA. How did that start, Natalie? <laughs> Do you remember? I got so many ideas. Yeah, because you wanted to be rooster teeth. Yeah, I did. We almost got there, too. We were this close. 20 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, Travis did some stuff. He was. We don't need to talk about him. He wasn't. Yeah, he's not here. He can't defend himself. Uh, I think it started. What was our first video? It was. You weren't even in the first video. I think it was called Flower Power. Oh, my God. Yes! Flower Power? Yeah. Yeah, because I I think it's called There's a Girl Here or something. (laughs) Even though we all sound like girls. Should just play, like, a little uh, clip of that. Should I play a little clip of it? I'm, this is gonna sound like shit because I'm just gonna play it through my phone. Is this so? This is when you were like 14. Yeah. Okay, because when I was 14, I sounded like this. It's it's really entertaining. You should all, everybody should go subscribe to it. It's not the first one that comes up. Yeah, like and subscribe. Hit the smash the like. Smash button. that like button. <coughs> yeah, it does. Triple digits. Yeah, but that can also be like the same five people just the for watching up. it. Episode two is twenty one views. Dude, we should have kept going. We're almost famous. 
I think the most views I've ever gotten on YouTube is like 3,000. Let's see. All right, let's Grand play Theft this. Auto, Grand Theft Minecart Episode 1, James Says a Gun. We're going to play a little bit here. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think it is. Is this a commercial? Did no, this, you is, put... my, this is my sick-ass intro. Oh, wow. You actually had a... What was that? Off Garage Hello, Band? Hello, everybody. This is me <laughs> giving me you know, my good video. Natalie. Mm, it's this been is a long us. time since we've released the video. We're in high school. And Thanks. I feel really bad for <laughs> our 13 subscribers, which only three of them are us, so I guess our 10 actual fans. Do you like this, Jordan? Who like watching us. I'm um, picturing I you, bad for you guys uh, wearing glasses. I don't think I had glasses. I mean, there you were, ready to watch it. No, I didn't. And now I legally have to to drive. I'm going to go ahead and like that. Zero dislikes. Um, not to brag or anything. <laughs> I'm going to get on there and dislike every single one of those videos. And He's I'm going to put hate comments on them. We have a video called Natalie the Gullible where we pranked her by building her a Minecraft house and then <laughs> blowing it up. Um, Natalie, you fell for that. You fell for that hook, line, and sinker, I believe. You did not know what was going on. It's about five minutes long. We spent about three hours working on that. What? Play it again. <laughs> what did you get it off of? I don't remember where I got the music from. I still have that music. But I worked so hard on this animation. I made Let this me see. animation. Let me see this. Look at this. Oh my god, you can't even see it. Shut the fuck up. It looks great. It looks really bad. And then I, I learned how to do that pixel thing. Yeah, well, like the blue you you were using, you can't even read that. No. It's, it's like hurting my eyes. Dude, I rendered that at 4K because I thought that we were one day going to be putting out 4K videos. On YouTube? Because I was a fucking idiot. <laughs> I still have that animation. I can show you that on my computer when we're done. I think it might be on my I, external hard I just hard drive. saw it. I don't need to see it again. Yeah, but you can see the actual Blender file where it was made. Is it going to burn my retinas out? Probably. Like, yeah, because that's so bright you can't even see it. It took me like a day and a half to render that. Ugh. We also we called it gaming and commentary. We did exactly zero commentary. Are you proud of that ginger beer? says gosling goslings ryan ryan goslings um so that's the two biggest things that we've ever done with our meager little lives i guess i shouldn't speak for everybody else that's the stuff that i've done um and jordan what do you want to talk yourself. about <laughs> i'm proud of that minecraft map we made that's cool i'd show it to you but i don't have it yeah. Natalie, are you still there? Are you still doing stuff? <laughs> We're a professional podcast, no, no. God damn it. You know what I heard today? The bird? Huh? What? Well, you said you wanted some politics on the show. Not what I said, but sure. So, so <clears throat> I heard today uh -huh. that Trump yep. never left office. Yeah. Have you heard this? He is. A yes, yeah. And Joe Biden is a hologram. You've heard this. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me. Uh, really? See, I, I I didn't get the whole details. This is just I was talking about this with somebody at work. They just brought it up. And I it's was surprising like, seeing as you don't work with the guy who really liked Trump anymore. Yeah, interesting. Do you have a new one? No. A new guy who really likes Trump mm -hmm. over there? No, there's no Trumpers. No. Oh. There's just, just one guy. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So what? So uh, all not the true-blooded Americans are most. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, depends. Uh, if you're in Portland, probably not. <laughs> if you go uh, anywhere, Portland, else, Oregon is that where you're talking about? Uh, Portland, Oregon, uh, Oregon. Yeah, for sure. Oregon. No, uh, but but <sighs> here's the thing. I was like, all right, so I'm cutting all of this. By the way, this is not making it in. Why? I just I don't want to deal with it. Okay, well then, whatever. I just have a like. <laughs> If he's a hologram, and he's, like, shaking people's hands and mm -hmm. stuff, so are those people, like, holograms? Or are they actors? Okay, here we go. Actresses? Are you ready for this? 
This yeah. is gonna blow your fucking mind. Um, Forrest Gump when Tom Hanks sh- uh, was shaking JFK's hand. That's they're, the whole. They're thing. using that technology. But then I was thinking, so nobody's ever seen him in real life Correct. shake somebody's hand, right? Ever or even in real life. So are all the other people holograms too? No, they're real, but they're acting. So, but why not just use a real guy? Because they no, they have who, somebody in a ping pong ball like green screen suit. Okay, and he goes out and he does it. So it's kind of like Spider Man. Sure. With, um, it's exactly like Spider Man. Don't elaborate on that. So like Nancy Pelosi and all those, they're actors. Uh huh. So, every so everybody in the government is for Trump. Yes. So. <laughs> you don't know where to go with this, do you? And it just doesn't make any sense. Well, it's sort of like you know how the Earth is flat and Australia yes. is not real, and everybody in Australia is an actor. Yeah. It's like that, but with the government. But it doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. You just explained it. If it didn't make sense, how could you explain it so Are people succinctly? getting dumber? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, somebody came in to where I work, mm-hmm. and somebody— Natalie, you want to tell him where he works so that we can have to bleep that, too? Where he works. All right. That's good for Why you. Why do you need to bleep it? <laughs> All right. I have to and I work that. in a grocery store. God damn it. I have to bleep that, too. Why? Because there's only, like, a couple of grocery stores where we live. So. Yes. <laughs> Somebody keeps wanting to tell them that. I don't think you need to bleep any of that. I work in a grocery store. I'm bleeping a lot. And of this. why? I'm bleeping every single time we said Trump. Why? Because it's funny. The way you edit these videos <laughs> is shitty as fuck. Dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. What are you no, talking no, about? No, <laughs> no, I'll freaking I'll edit this. No, you're not. And I will fix you it. Don't know. Yeah, I'm we'll not pay. Doing that. We'll pay Natalie to edit these. You can pay Natalie to edit. It. I'm, I'm, and I've edited 19 episodes of this shitty ass podcast. We'll pay you in Bitcoin. Okay, I'm fine with that. Bitcoin's doing very well right now. I hear. That's a new one. I anyway, been... anyway, like, so somebody came in to where I work, mm-hmm. anyway, just to finish this thought. Mm-hmm. And um, this guy told her, you know, fish grow bigger in this area because the waters are colder mm-hmm. than it is here. Right. And, and, I'm following you so far. And she said, um, well, how can the water be any colder in, in different parts of the ocean? Okay. Right. I'm at, Yeah, I got it. And that's pretty much it. So we can't say that that's copyright. What? It? Pretty much it. Pretty much it? Yeah. How is that copyrighted? There's a YouTube channel called Pretty Much It. You can't... Pr- no, like... No, global warming No, is we're talking... It snowed it, last year. <clears throat> no, no, I'm not even talking like... This woman was, like, so dumb <laughs> that, like... Sounds like she, she saw through your lies. She... Yeah, no, she figured the, the water in Maine mm-hmm. is cold. And the water somewhere else, like in Norway wouldn't be any colder than it is here because it's cold here it is but um like has she never heard of like antarctica and stuff like that you mean Uh, the ice ring how yeah how warm does she think that water is probably pretty warm it's about the same as maine the same as maine yeah Yeah. water actually freezes at about 45 degrees fahrenheit i don't know if you know that that's true yeah (laughs) no that's celsius 60. Yeah, that's the conversion. The conversion rate is pretty bad. If all your money is in Fahrenheit, you should probably convert to Celsius. If the ocean, if if temperatures rise mm-hmm. and the ocean evaporates, I don't think that's the concern. Won't that water just rain back down on us? That's not the, the reason why it's concerning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll just have a bunch of rain showers. I mean, first of all, it's fake, so we don't have to worry about it. Right. Wait, what is? I forget which thing we're talking about. I don't even know. <laughs> but it's all fake. There's, there's too many conspiracy theories thrown into Truths. one right now. This is what you're talking about. People say conspiracy theory, but it's not a conspiracy theory if, one, it's a fact, and, two, it's the truth. Yeah. 
you look like you're it, debating no, this, but I mean, still, that's just how I think math it would works. still be a conspiracy theory. No, it's even not if a it's conspiracy uh, if it's true. true. It's also not a theory if it's a fact. Then why are there those why videos is it that the are like theory of evolution? Then Jordan? why are there those videos that are like top ten conspiracy theories that were actually true? For it should say, it should be former conspiracy theories. So what are we talking about? I don't remember. Um, so we were 12 right. and we made a Minecraft channel and you should all go subscribe to it. If anybody, a a asks, question if anybody asks a question in the comment section, I will answer it. I think what's going to happen. <laughs> Did somebody do that? I'm going to respond say? to that right now. I'm going to like that comment, and I'm going to respond, yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and like my comment. You commented, this channel is swag. No, it's your account. <laughs> oh, yeah. I also used to change your fo your ringtone and text tone to Michael Jones from Rooster Teeth screaming, I'm going to ram this fucking cow's rectum. <laughs> we had fun in art class. <laughs> that teacher hated me. But we can't talk about that. <laughs> Not enough time has passed. Um, we have one Terraria video. That was fun. Um... What else should we talk about? We talked about Extra Life. We talked about main gaming, the greatest YouTube channel ever. Conspiracy we talked about theories. truths. Um, I want to talk about how HBO Max can fucking suck my dick. Okay? They're, they have they have their stupid add the thing to your queue so you can you know go back and watch it. It has a limit. To how many shows you can put on there. Yeah. And it's stupid and dumb. Well, you don't put a bunch of shit on there like I do. And then try to go back and watch it. Um, to put a bunch of shit into a list that you're never going to follow. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I am. And then I go back to watch it and it's been six months and then they took it off. So I can't watch it. You know what I do is I watch a certain show on a certain day. So then I can just watch multiple things at once. Well, yeah, we don't watch got, Big Bang uh, Theory because we're, we like comedy. On like, on the, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the shows are still on TV. So you got like, uh, I got Chucky mm -hmm. on Tuesdays. I had American Horror Story on Wednesdays. And then I would watch um, Dope Sick on Hulu, usually on, like, Saturdays or Sundays. Can I tell a story about how you don't know how to watch stuff on TV? <coughs> what do you mean? So, when Wonder Woman 1984 came out, we were it was all the rage. We were talking about it at work, because I still used to work with you back then, um, before I quit and left for uh, my own... My own uh, reasons. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm going to cut that joke. Take two. Um, we talked about we were talking about Wonder Woman 1984, and you were very excited because you heard that it was atrociously bad. All right, Mr. Popular over there, getting phone notifications. Um, and you asked me, where is it so that I can watch it? And I said, oh, it's on HBO Max. And you went, oh, I have HBO. I can watch that. Then you came in the next day, and you and I was like, oh, did you watch it? And you went, okay. So, I was ready to go. I went on my TV. I was super excited. I had my popcorn. I realized I don't have HBO Max. <laughs> yeah, it was like Amazon or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you should finish it. No, you should it's, finish it. It's like No, it's, it's really so, good. It, it's I love so it. so fucking good. It's not. It's horrible, but it's so funny. Oh, you think it's funny now? <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't think it was I thought it was funny. You guys were it like It was making me mad because when we watched it, you were asking me questions and I didn't have answers for you. <laughs> Yeah. Like, at one point... It doesn't make any sense. You just, like... You kept saying, who's that character and why are they there? I don't know. It's just not in the movie. Remember when I was like, wait, why is she a cat now? Yeah. And then we had to rewind it. Yeah, to the apex predator part. (laughs) I want to be an apex predator. Yeah, that's hilarious. And then, yeah, and then when I went into work, I was, like, talking to Tyler, and I was just like... I was like, I, uh... I really liked it. And he was getting pissed at me. (laughs) And I was like, I thought it was really funny. And he just screamed at me like, it wasn't supposed to be a comedy. (laughs) I was like, I "I thoroughly enjoyed it. (laughs) Yeah, it's like two and a half hours long. No, don't don't help her. Do not help her. You can do this. I don't know what it's called. Come on my face. I thought the new one wasn't out. (laughs) called far from home <laughs> oh, Dr. Doc Octopus Okay, I'm going to blow your fucking mind right now. It's a multiverse movie and Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield keep saying they're not in it, but they're definitely in it. Also, I mean, yeah, there's footage of Andrew Garfield and he's talking and Yeah, have you Multiverse. not seen Spideyverse? Yeah, mul- Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. There's multiple Spider-Men. <clears throat> yeah. Her name's Spider-Gwen. There's just a bunch of different dimensions with based like the same kind of people, I guess. Yes. Yeah. The really bad one? Oh yeah. That has nothing that, to do with Yeah, that. those are two completely separate things. I, I agree. You two are part of the fucking problem. Wow. C- no, it's because most people don't want to have to sit through... 20 or 30 movies it just to be able sense. to understand no this one's probably fine but i'm talking like marvel in general it's like people just show up and you're like who is that yeah you have to watch like all of them in order to watch like Endgame or something <clears throat> okay and then there's the first one that movie is bad by the way I stand by what I said. Yeah, I stand by that. I think that it was about 15 years too late for the fast-paced, born style action movie. And also, I don't think it was very funny. I didn't care what was going to happen because I know, spoiler alert, Black Widow dies in Endgame. Um, I didn't like her sister. I wasn't a fan of the red guy who was also kind of rushing Captain America. I didn't know what was going on. Is she the one that's like the assassin? Yes. Welcome to the conversation, Christopher. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't really want to see that movie. It's not very good. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, also, I hate women, so that sh- we should just say that. That's why I didn't like uh, Wonder Woman or this movie. Wonder Woman. No. The first. Oh, oh, that's the one with the. Uh, she's in Germany, right? Sure. Yeah. Chris Pine's in it. And he's like he's sniffing. In both of them. That doesn't he's help. Sniffing the the gas. Yeah. Doctor Gas Lady or whatever. Um, I also hated Ghostbusters 2016, but new Ghostbusters is coming out next week, and Jordan doesn't want to go see it because he has to work. Yeah, I have to go to work. I'm already scheduled. 
think I only have like Tuesday off. Yeah, <laughs> this one's a uh, sequel to the original Ghostbusters, which has nothing to do with 2016 Ghostbusters. I'm excited. Oh, 100 percent. Same with Matrix Four, but I'm gonna go see it. Yeah, you're gonna be. That's gonna. It's gonna be disappointing. That movie's gonna suck ass. Which one, Matrix or Ghostbusters? Both. Either you think or. Ghostbusters is gonna be bad? I think Ghostbusters is gonna be okay. Mediocre. Yeah, I think it's gonna probably be better than Ghostbusters Two. It's probably gonna be the second best of the Ghostbusters quadrilogy. At this point. Yeah. Ghostbusters. What's it called? Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, Afterlife. Yeah. Why do you guys not keep up with nerd culture? You're supposed to be nerds. Come on. No, there's only one thing. It's Marvel movies, and that's it. No. Yeah, there's people who like horror. No. Nope. You don't know mm -hmm. anything about horror. Why don't you, I don't why don't you watch horror. horror movies? Ask me a horror question. Ask you a horror question? Ask me a question about horror. <laughs> yeah, I do too. There was one time. Okay, so. No, 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 no. I want to tell the story. So, Five Nights at Freddy's. We've played it before. Yeah. Um, There's a video out somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Jordan does shit his pants. Uh, <laughs> we were playing on your phone i believe natalie in the school cafeteria and i screamed <laughs> so loud that was fun i wish that we could get the security footage of that it was in the middle of the day we were at lunch and i was surrounded by people and i was playing on a stupid phone and i almost shit my pants Yeah, I've played it before. We've played it since. Sure. It gets kind of old. Yeah, you say that, but you screamed louder on the last time than you did on the first time. Yeah, it jumps you. You but it's were also convinced. like there's no way I'm ever gonna actually beat the game, so it's like it's not really fun. You were convinced that you had figured out a way to break the system. Yeah, I watched a video on how to how to beat the game. <laughs> and then. We deter. I I said, "Hey, can you just for shits and giggles turn on the light?" And you did, and the dude was just right there. It's the one where the audio got out of sync because we were recording at like fifty nine frames a second or something. Because my computer fucking sucks. Oh, by the way, I think I figured out why it fucking sucks. I had my graphics card in the wrong slot because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, it's intermittent. If I look at it the wrong way, it just doesn't work. But it's been working for a solid week and a half now. Is the problem fixed? Probably not. We're just going to keep ignoring it because I do not want to spend another $2,500 on a graphics card. A 2080 Ti. Please don't rob my apartment, anybody listening. <laughs> I know I have expensive stuff. Please don't. Yeah, I, I got a notification that these microphones we're recording on um, were on sale on Amazon for $69. Uh, the AT2020s that I've used for years. We switched over from USB. I had a USB one. We switched to XLR so that we could use the audio interface so that we could do multi- um, dimensional recordings yeah we're in the fifth dimension we're in interstellar land uh because i could not do it with the delay that we were getting it broke my brain jordan is a robot so he can just do that remember when we were trying to do it with software and it was super laggy yeah and my yeah i just couldn't talk yeah and you could just talk fine yeah yeah because you're inhuman and a robot no, I think it's because you've never played instruments before in your life. Maybe. I played instruments. What did you play? Yeah, we did. Yeah? Yeah. Were you I good at it? I do remember that. Was I good? Yeah. 
I was not good at it. Um, why did I play saxophone, you may ask? Because it was the thing that was available that my aunt had that she lent me. <laughs> why did I want to be in band? Because I got to leave math class half an hour early on Sundays. <laughs> that is not a joke. That is why I wanted to be in band. That's not like a that's not a bad reason. I did not want to be in math class. I don't like math. Math um, used to put me to sleep. Yeah. It kind of sucks, even though – ignore the math that I was doing over here. That was just basic measurements. Um, correct. Well, that's not true. I was usually doing my homework as it was being collected. Luckily, I was sat at the back of the classroom, and that teacher would talk for about 25 minutes. That's enough time to write a bunch of shit on a piece of paper. And if she's just looking at it to see if you did it, that's enough. They do grade the papers, though. Not sometimes. Sometimes it was just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. What school did you go to? Coney High School. Okay. Shout out. Yeah. Best math program ever. I'm not going to name the teacher, but she knows who she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this school is a joke. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they put me in gifted and talented in 7th and 8th grade, and it was a struggle. They had to force me to do my work. I refused. <laughs> I don't know why they thought I was going to be good in that class. I don't know how I qualified. Probably because everybody else is fucking stupid. <laughs> there must have, yeah. I think what happened was, in 6th grade, we had to do a test to determine like it wasn't one of the ones where they they figure out if they should give your school money it was just like a stupid math test and i got i i fucking i used to be good at math i fucking got the highest score in the class the another girl who is uh trying to be smart um got less than me and she was really fucking mad her name is nadia <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that. I'm gonna bleep that, but I wanted you to know, Natalie, because you remember her. She. <coughs> what do you want to say? I, I can bleep it. She's married. <laughs> That's weird. People are adults now. What are we doing? <laughs> You gotta get married. Shit out a kid or something. Um, and I think that's how I got into gifted and talented. I'm just gonna cut all that middle part, and then just lead into this. Um, that's how I think I got into gift. We went to like a Russian seminar. One time. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I went with, we had to pick like three things that we wanted to look at. I think I picked animation as one of them. Why the fuck that was a thing. And then we watched, yeah, we watched Masha the Bear. And now you can watch it on Netflix or some shit, but it's in English. We watched it in Russian because we knew what's up. Masha the Bear? Masha. That was pretty fun. I have that photo somewhere. I remember that. That, uh, the tour guide we had was pretty hot. The first time. Why are you so sweaty? Because it's hot in here. It's not. It is. I'm not used to it being 70 degrees. I turned it up because you're a little bitch and you complain about how cold it is. I'm used to, like, I keep my room degrees. at 50 degrees. Then when why have were you I complaining ever complained? last time? I don't know what you're talking about. You were complaining last time. Matt can vouch for me. He was there. We should talk about Dune. About no, no way. Dune. We no, went and saw is, Dune. This is already super yeah. long. And it was bad. I didn't like it. It wasn't bad. Didn't we? We already talked about Dune. Oh yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not. I was confused as to what that was because I thought Toy Story universe was just regular universe. 
But then they're flying through space and shit. <coughs> yeah, it's not. It's like the character. So here's what I think it is. No, and it's a toy made after. Shut the fuck up. I know exactly what it is. It's this is a movie in the Toy Story universe. Yeah, that and the then toy they was made a toy after. about this movie, and now Andy plays with that toy. There used to be a Buzz Lightyear um, animated yeah, there TV was. series, and it was uh, Buzz Lightyear was voiced by Patrick. Uh, what's his face? Swayze. <laughs> Not Patrick Swayze. <laughs> yeah, it's the guy from Emperor's New Groove. Nope. He's the the, I don't think he's in that movie. The Kronk guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't know his It's like his Patrick last War name. Warburger or something. Yeah, it's uh, Elaine's boyfriend. Yeah. <coughs> Boom, nailed it. Elaine's boyfriend from Saturday. He's also Joe from Family Guy. Uh yeah. He is. He was Buzz Lightyear though. Yeah. Okay. So that was episode 20 of James and Jordan Talk to the Internet. Um, special guest star, Natalie. I'm not going to say your last name. We should probably clap sync at the end so that I can line this up. Yeah, this is always fun. Especially when we had to line it up with video, too. Okay. Fuck you. Um, I'm going to go 3, 2, 1, clap. Okay, everybody? 3, 2, 1. That should be good enough. We're just going to assume that it worked. Um, I'm going to stop recording now.